Hey guys, how y'all doing today? I'm doing all right. And today I have a chips mukbang. So many bags of chips. Today, I'm just gonna eat all. Listen to that ASMR. Well, then, let's get started. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't and click that post notification bell. Give this video a big old thumbs up and share it with your friends. What are your favorite chips? Okay, so let's start with, um, what am I in the mood for? Like a sour cream and onion or like cheesy? Let's go with Cheetos first. You could always count on Cheetos. I like these Cheetos more than these ones, but Cheetos nonetheless. Mm -hmm. Now, I've been looking on, on Instagram and saw the whole post when Jackies Jackies was that how you say his name Jackies I don't know Jacques however you say his name I I mean like he did anything wrong by declaring himself the king of R&B especially as an artist it it sounded more to me as though he was putting that energy out into the universe you know in order for it to come true but everybody went crazy Like, he's not the king of R&B, R. Kelly is, and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. My thing is, I don't understand why he can't be, like, thought of or nominated. I definitely think he, it is possible for him to become the king of r and I don't think currently there is a king of R&B that is relevant and consistent right now. Because somebody said Usher, and then somebody said, like, Chris Brown, and all these other people in Tank, and The Weeknd, but, well, The Weeknd did drop his album this year. But, you know, I feel like we've been talking more about Beyonce and Jay-Z, and... Uh, Nikki and Cardi more than we've been talking about R&B and I feel like the relevancy and the consistency is just as important as the body of work and I don't think people should just shut uh, down Jacquees or Jacquez Jacquees I can't even say his damn name but I don't think people should be shutting him down so quickly People are saying, he's not even employee of the month. How is he king of R&B type shit? I don't know. I definitely think he's, he, it is possible. I think he can 
definitely be in the race for becoming the king. Let's try these. Who still eats Fritos? Comment down below. I know Fritos is like Fritos is like the least common, um, the least favorite um, chip. Honey barbecue. Mmm. Mmm. You have to be in the mood for these. They're not like the plain ones. <laughs> I start dancing and stuff every time I have some food. But I don't know this this whole debate is well it has us talking I guess that's the whole point of it is to get us talking and get us thinking logically and figuring this stuff out and what parameters are we going to use to judge it by just body of work by the number of hit songs the person may have or like what what are we going to use to determine this ruffle sour cream and onion the cheddar sour cream and onion those used to be my favorite ruffles my favorite chips period And these chips are like good with the dip. Dip, baby, dip. Come on now. Dip, baby, dip. Dip, baby, dip. Wow. They should do a commercial like that. Um, don't mind me looking over here. I'm looking at the, um, I'm looking at the Instagram post. Honestly, I definitely think Jockeys should have the confidence that he has. I think he should feel that way, and I think he should back it up like anybody else should back it up. And I think that he's fully capable of fulfilling that role and that title. I think Jay Holiday <laughs> Jay Holiday made some hits back in the day, but where's his consistency? Where's where are his hit records after 2005? You know what I mean? Like come on, before you start comment before you start to comment on anybody else in their catalog, he should take a look at his own. Like, who are you? The last hit you had was, I'ma put you to bed, bed, bed. I'ma put you to bed, bed, bed. And that was back when, 2003? Like, come on, man. And then Jacquees did a bet, a, another song also called bed and that's on the radio every other day or every other song you know what i mean so it's like 
people just want to jump in and give their opinion. He sound mad, honestly. The fact that he didn't say it. Like, I don't know why he would be upset because he could just easily sell. Wait, let's watch the clip. All right, listen up, man. This is from one R&B singer to the rest of y'all, mom. Man, listen here. And this is some rip my heart. That, that book that man said, there's three kings of R&B. The first one sold 20 million on his first album. I'm not bad like baby. Not with a Gucci jacket on, I'm not bad like baby. The second king of R&B is from Chicago. And the third one is from Tappahannan. Four and five right here. Sounds and nervities. <laughs> First of all, he sound dumb AF because first of all, nobody knows who fourth and fifth he was referring to and like who was that in his video with them? Who is that? Second of all, how he trying to make a video talking about I'm the fourth and fifth king of R&B Yet, yeah, somebody's confusing you as valet. You valet? Or nah? <laughs> that has to be the funniest thing. Like, you on camera fronting photogram when somebody's calling you out for being valet. You park people's cars, my nigga. Like, that shit is crazy. But... Nonetheless, the whole point being Jackie's claim to be the king of R&B. But a real king knows he's the king of R&B. Okay? And a real king would prove it. I just thought that whole little debate was so cute. I mean, Kevin Hart responded, Tank, Tyrese, all these people that influence music right now are speaking up about it. And I feel like hey let's put it to the test let's have a competition or let's let's prove it let's drop some songs some hits let's get the views and sell the copies and let's see who's gonna be the king of r&b i need something to drink after all them chips <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe and hit that post notification bell and give this video a big old thumbs up. And I will see you in my next video. Until next time, stay awesome.